Days after a nine-year-old girl was gunned down at a popular Sacramento park, police are now saying a person of interest has been detained for questioning. City leaders held a news conference earlier today alongside the family of Michaela Brent. They're promising safety changes at Mama Marks Park in Del Paso Heights, where Brent was shot and killed. CBS 13's Laura Hafley joins us live with what's being proposed and whether people who live there think it'll be enough to stop the violence. Laura. Yeah, council members are making major promises, including security cameras and lights in all District 2 parks. But is it too little too late after a weekend of bloodshed in Sacramento? One neighborhood in mourning says no. A drive-by shooting at Mama Mark's Park on Saturday claimed the life of Michaela K.K. Brent. She was just nine years old. It's not okay to do this in a park. Our kids are being slaughtered from California to New York. After a weekend of violence in Sacramento, the Brent family is begging for an end to the bloodshed. The level of violence that these kids are experiencing in our community already is horrible. Councilmember Alan Warren represents District 2 and the Del Paso Heights area. He's promising change. This is definitely a step in the right direction. The city council is proposing security cameras for all parks in District 2, gang intervention task forces, funding for youth programs, and the local library. But where will the city find the money? In the middle of a pandemic, with the budget already stretched thin, they'll have to get creative. We have uh, a little bit more of the federal CARES money, but we will find um, a reasonable uh, amount of uh, dollars and resources to be able to do what Councilmember Warren has asked for. We asked Councilmember Warren if he'd consider taking money from the police budget. Not necessarily taking money, but reallocation of money that can be better invested in the community. So this is not meant as a punishment to the police department. It's meant to enhance the community. This park is not going to be defined by the worst thing that happened here. City Council is not exactly sure where they're going to get the money from, but they're confident they'll get it quickly. And they say the whole process of park renovations and those security measures won't be too expensive. All right. Thanks, Laura.